Hello and welcome to another episode of Dire Valley, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before we begin, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and follow up with bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server, where you can interact with me and other Dire Valley fans, talk about the game in general, share some cool mods, or just chill. You can find link in description down below this video. Right, welcome back. I guess you missed me, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I posted last content from the Ray Valley. Well, maybe not not that much of a while, uh, because last week, uh, if you watched my channel carefully, uh, I did a live stream with uh, Bolt, the railway dog. Uh, we've been testing a little bit of multiplayer mod. But today, I'm, uh, today I'm back uh, with some single player content uh, that I think you're gonna like. I guess. <laughs> yeah, at this point I can only guess. Uh, but hopefully, whoever missed my content uh, will appreciate that. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, multiplayer mod uh, dragged me back into d Valley a little bit more than, than I used to play it in, in past few months. And today I decided that it would be a nice bonus content to add to my channel. Uh, I'm not sure if I will restart it as a regular series, because... Uh, let's face it, d Valley lacks of content when you... when you like discover more jobs yeah it is fun to discover various different places and and travel across uh, the map which is quite quite large uh, but there are only three locomotives to drive um, and when you discover how how you move around the map the game starts to get a little bit monotonous and boring uh, but that's on the other hand, the life on, on the rail or, uh, railroad or railways, um, like when you discover your route, it's, it loses that charm. Uh, it starts to become a routine. Anyway, uh, today I'm back and I will be doing some amazing stuff in hope for making a big money out of it. So without any further ado, Let's jump into the game and let's see what I prepared for you, shall we? Okay, so here I am at Oil Well Central. Yes, uh, we'll be transporting some dangerous goods today. And what I've been thinking about is to take these three jobs. And I will connect them to my locomotive in that specific order, which is FH01 uh, with 11 wagons, FH79 with 4 wagons, and then at the very back I will connect FH76 with just 8 wagons. Or should I do it in opposite order? And start from FH 76, follow up with 79 and 01. Hmm. I'm still yet to decide. Or maybe. Okay, I will do it in right to left order. I'll start from 76, follow up with 79 and 01. Uh. And I will attempt to deliver all three jobs at once. Uh, let's face it, I'm not aiming for the bonus this time. Uh, we got very short amount, well, very small amount of time to finish those. We got 36 minutes to go from Oil Well Central with all that load, which is nearly 1300 tons, all the way to Harbor and Town. We will have to split the cargo uh, in there between uh, sidings. Uh, so I might not make it in 36 minutes. 
uh, to get the bonus. If I will make it, uh, yeah, that's that's a bonus, yeah, <laughs> as it is called, uh, and and it would make me wow, quite a lot of money. I, I will probably make around hundred thirty thousand dollars out of all three jobs if I can finish them with a the bonus. Uh, but I think I'm not gonna make it. Right, uh, it's gonna be a long video, so I'm not gonna show you the shunting process, or at least I won't be making any commentary throughout the shunting, uh, because uh, in order to shunt them, it will take a lot of time. So, uh, I will most likely speed up this time, and then, after I finish shunting, I'll be back with you. On top of that, there is another bonus that I would like to show you. There is something new that I'm going to be using. And that's this bad boy. Oh yes. It's the first time you will see me driving one of those. And I will use only one single locomotive to pull all that load. Um, the E6, um, because that's the name of this model, uh, at least that's how it's represented in the game, is something new in my arsenal. I just basically got the license for it. I don't know how to operate it yet. It will be the very first time I will be driving one of these bad boys. Uh, but it is rated for 1400 tons. So in theory, I should be able to easily pull this load and deliver it to its destination. But the first thing is, I need to discover how to start this bad boy. But before I will do that, let me search for the jobs. So we got job number 76, which is this one. Okay, uh, then that's zero 01, okay, uh, but I still need to find job number 79, and that's probably this one, okay. So, uh, let me check the siding numbers. That's B50 or B50. Uh, that's gonna be... Uh, B30. Oh my goodness me, those. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's gonna be B10. Yes. So I will first go to B10. Then I will pull my load to B50. Connect this very short consist. And then back to B30 to pick up the final load. Right, anyway, let's jump in onto this bad boy. Uh, can I open the doors? Oh, I can. Oh, I smashed them. Right. Uh, there we go. We don't have to close them yet. Right, so that's gonna be the locomotive I will be driving. That's our night panel. Unfortunately, there is no seat. Unlike... Train Sim World, uh, this game doesn't feature seats. You can eventually sit down using X button. And that's, that's the position we will be driving at. This is the horn. Ooh, it sounds impressive. So that's brake pipe, brake reservoir, okay. Okay. That's a train brake. Uh, that's a sound fuel oil bell doesn't work. Headlights, uh, they they won't work. We will drive. We will be driving only during daytime. I haven't installed any mods uh, apart from multiplayer mod, which is always installed at the moment. And there is also a cab light, which I'm not sure if it works, but it lights up all the gauges. Okay, fantastic. That's a dynamic brake, and. Emergency engine off. Uh, okay, that's a throttle. And that's a reverser. 
Perfect. Oh, and there is also independent break. Right. So we got various different types of brakes, but we haven't yet discovered how to turn that bad boy on. Uh, let me stand up, perhaps. Can I open one of those? No. Uh, so that's the breakers. Perfect. And I believe I need to turn them on. There we go. Let's shut this. Uh, can I? No, I can't go there. Okay, I can go there and stand at the front of the locomotive. Ooh, look at that beautiful view. Okay, that's one of the things. I can oh, I can open the window. I shall do that. So that I can eventually look through. Well, perhaps I could sit down first. Oh, there we go. That will increase my view a little bit better. Let me open these windows. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can open these doors. Yeah. Okay. Let me just get out. Let's open these doors. That's a primer. So let's turn it. And that's the locomotive turned on. Okay. Uh, I will first need to charge my brakes. Yes. Uh, it's gonna take a while. So before that happens, I might as well set the turntable. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know why, but I prefer to do it manually. I really hate to operate that lever in, in this box. Right, so. That's the E6. And that's our locomotive for today. Okay. Is it all closed? It is. Right, so. The brakes should be off now. Are they? Yeah, that's brakes on, that's brakes off, okay, perfect, reverser forward, and let's add a little bit of throttle, okay, I really need to get used to how to operate this bad boy, let's turn on the clocks, Okay, I think that will be the best position to, to drive for now. Okay, we don't want to derail. Let's set the reverser back. Let's have a look if entire locomotive is on the turntable. It is. Perfect, it fits perfectly. Just look at her. Good. Right, let's now use this lever, and I need to set it for this truck. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Just perfect. Okay. It's all set. Let's jump back in. Okay, we should be good to go now. Ah, fantastic. Right, guys. Uh, so I'll be back with you in just a second when I finish shunting all that load. Uh, because, yeah, it will take a while before I will finish.
All right, so we are back. As you can see, entire consoles is now connected. Uh, let me just accept the jobs. And we can go. Finally, isn't it? First job that I'm going... To, well, first job. First set of jobs that I'm going to do since the beginning of this series. So I'm going to accept this one. This one. And this one. Okay. Let's get this bad boy on the move. And while I'm going to be moving... I will then... Monitor... What's next? We are almost at... Uh, the weight limit that this locomotive can pull. So it's going to be very tricky road. Uh, let me just see okay those jobs jumped in here which is good so we need to decouple uh, which one is this uh, 76 which is the first job behind our loco on e9i truck uh, so let me place it at the very end then we got job number 79 in the middle and that goes to e 8i and finally 01 job which is at the very end of our train and it goes to 8 uh, to e81 uh, e8i uh, blah, 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 e81 uh, yeah so we're first gonna go to track uh, let me just open harbor and town uh, both jobs are going to e-siding. I know where that is. So we will first go into track E8I. Leave two jobs uh, that are on the back. And then we're gonna head uh, to track E9I and push the last job in. And that's how we're gonna go. Uh, the world map, yeah, it's pretty simple road. We're gonna go through a farm next to steel mill and standard road to harbor and town. Hopefully, we can actually make it. Uh, because it's a very heavy load, as you can see. The locomotive is already struggling. I'm on fourth notch on the throttle. And we are just doing... 25 kilometers per hour the speed is not raising as much as I would like it to and we will use a maximum power for quite a long time which scares me a bit uh, because if you remember uh, well the engines in this game tends to overheat a lot so that's going to be our first obstacle uh, we need to gain some momentum before we start climbing uphill uh, but things will start to get easier when we will be going downhill oh I almost forgot we might as well open the window I hope this is better right so this is gonna be difficult anyway Let's try to speed up to 50. And let that be our target speed. Hopefully it's not going to be too fast for the next bend. But one can only hope. And hopefully I won't go past that. Okay, let's lower the throttle so that I won't accidentally derail. Okay, let me prepare my magical switcher. Okay, the speed limit is 60 here. And I need to change that switch up in front. Can I do it now? No, I can't not with catchment area 
Let's lower the throttle a little bit more. Okay. I'm going a bit over the speed limit. Let's use dynamic brake. I think... Oh, yeah. Okay. That should do. Back to notch 5. And we will try to keep that speed because we are now going uphill. And as you can see, it's a struggle for this locomotive. Yeah, even for that locomotive, it is a heavy struggle. I might need to use a sand. Before we will start a wheel slip here. Uh, yeah. Ooh, this is really heavy. Yikes. That might be a bit too much for this locomotive. But one can only hope. Uh, we are down to 25, but... Oh dear, 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 oh dear. This is no good. Well, we are doing good for now. But as I said, I'm not aiming to eventually get... ...to Harbour and Town within 36 minutes. I might not make it. Yeah, probably if I would turn the sand off, I would start wheel slipping. Come on, come on locomotive, you can do it. Oh, I'm doing just 20. And I'm using sand like crazy. But it will be worth it. I'm gonna make every single penny out of this job. I'm telling you. But surprisingly, the engine is not overheating. I'm not on the max throttle. And I don't think I will... Oh, I'm not sure if the wheel is slipping or not. I can't actually hear that. Oh my goodness me. Now the wheels are slipping. Yeah, it's... It's a really heavy load for this locomotive. We are still climbing. So I'm not gonna deploy any... Or I'm not gonna stop deploying sand. But I will attempt to eventually gain some extra speed and I seem to be successful on that that's good that's very good the speed is actually increasing but so is the temperature of my engine okay sand off We'll try to increase speed without... ...going over too much. I need some momentum here. Uh, 
Ok. Let's let the engine coast for a bit. So it cools down. I'm gonna need it cooled. Because there's gonna be a little bit more of a climb. Temperature is not falling as fast as I would like it to. But for now things are looking good. We will have a fast section here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Cool off. Okay, the engine is cooling. Okay, let's go for maximum power. And let's try to go as fast as we can with that load. Come on! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The speed is increasing, which is very good. Okay. Well, we won't be going as fast as speed limit is saying. Uh, but I think 70. Yeah, 70 seems safe. Let's cool off the engine. Okay, speed limit went, do went down to 80. So we are just 10 kilometers per hour below the speed limit. Engine is cooling off. And from now on, we will have to operate the brakes. Uh, for now I will use train brake, uh, because I need to figure out how to use dynamic brake. I, I think I will have to... Yeah, dynamic brake on its own doesn't work. You need to add some throttle to it. Uh, but I'm not super familiar with how to set it up. So I'm not gonna do this. Just yet. Okay, the train is slowing down on its own t uh, to 60. Uh, that's gonna be a good speed. Since the limit is 70, I should be fine. I need to remember that my train is very long, so I have to be careful with the speed limits. Especially when they will start to increase. Otherwise, something might derail on the back and I won't notice it. So it's gonna be safe to assume that 70 km per hour is my top speed. And it's still quite optimistic, I'd say. Okay, ooh, that's a sharp bend. Okay. 60, I'm exactly at that speed. In fact, I'm slightly below, which is good. Might need to break a little bit. Okay, it, it still says 60. But for safety, I'm down to 50 now. Okay, and now we are going downhill. Perfect. So this is gonna be simple. From now on. I just have to control my speed. We'll move away from the window. For now. So I can see both signs. Speedometer and... And my brakes. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, uh, that, that was a bit harsh braking, but I'd rather slow down sooner and a little bit more than go way over speed limit. Yeah, I have to admit that my skills are not as sharp as they used to be. Yeah, that's a tight turn. But the train is not braking anymore. And the speed is slowly increasing as the train is on a slope. So we will soon speed up to the right speed. And what I need to get to is 40 kilometers per hour. Again, as I said, I'm not aiming to hit the bonus. If I'm gonna make it by accident, I shall do it. Because that route doesn't take that long, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, for now I'm not gonna add any throttle the train is speeding up anyway and it's so long that before I will leave that bend that had 40 km per hour uh, speed limit there should be another one on our way so I would have to slow down eventually yeah I'm just doing 25 or something But the train will rapidly gain speed from now on. Yeah, there is 50. I think there should be another 40. And then I think there is 30... No, there is 40 when when you get on the track directly to harbor and town. If I remember correctly. Uh, looking through the window doesn't actually make any difference. Yeah, we went past 30. Oh, that, that gives me a little bit better view. There is 60 here, but the speed limit will go down. And it will go down to 40, yes. So let's stick to that speed. I will add a little bit of braking. Okay, that's good. Seems to work better than dynamic brake at the moment. Okay, I'm doing like 38. But we are on a down slope. Okay. Speed seems to be holding really well. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's 80, and we are still on a down slope. Ooh, that's a... That's gonna be a heavy slope. Let's add a tiny bit of braking. Okay, that should do. Seventy. Okay, my route should be set all the way to harbor and town, because I, I think I did that route not long ago. Okay, a little bit more braking, perfect. We will hold 40, there's no need to speed up past that. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, yeah, the route is set. 
So all I have to do is to hold my speed. And we should get to harbor and town in pretty much one piece. Yeah, 40 is that route. And yeah, that's 40. Okay, brakes released. Perfect, perfect. So far we are doing really good. Our first trip in this bad boy goes really well. Uh, we can already see harbor and town. Really nice. Ooh, a bit more braking. That's gonna be a much steeper slope. I don't want to go too fast. Because, again, there is a 40 km per hour speed limit. And as more and more wagons are entering the slope, I can already feel that the train is pushing on me. Okay, thankfully you can lean in different direction. That's the controls that I'm missing in Train Sim World 2. Okay, a tiny bit more braking. I'm using train brake for this uh, because I haven't yet discovered how to exactly use a dynamic brake in this particular locomotive. It should work in theory. Okay, uh, we are still on a slope. So I have to be on the lookout at my speed. And now the speed limit goes down to 30. So I better slow down a bit harsher. Okay, now I can release the brakes. And when they are released, it should leave me at a proper speed to actually do the job. I can actually add some throttle. Okay, that part of the route is set. So all I have to do now is to put this train on the right siding. Let's speed up so that we can go through the station a little bit faster. I can easily go up to 50 I think on this station. Okay, let's make sure the yeah, locomotive remote is still good. Okay. Let me now make sure I'm going onto the right track. Perfect. I need to go to E8I. Okay. Oh. Okay. I will go past this junction. Hopefully things... Want derail? Okay, okay, they, they are not. It's just a signal that I've been losing. And I need to go past this place with first eight wagons. 
can add some train brake to slow us down. Okay, perfect. The train is slowing down, indeed. In fact, it's slowing down a little bit faster than I planned. Okay, first eight wagons needs to pass... Need to go past this sign. And then I can stop the train. may start slowing down that's two three okay four Ooh, I think I slowed down a little bit too much just a tiny bit more Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. There we go, that's the eight wagon. That's seventh wagon and that's the eighth one. Okay, perfect, right, let me just decouple them, perfect, now, I need to go a little bit forward, Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, this is heavy. Okay, I just need to go past this junction. And then I can push the whole thing back. Okay, train brake is on. Train brake is off. And let's add some throttle. And I might as well change this switch oh come on you are struggling because train brake is on come on let's do it faster so that we can get that juicy bonus there we go Okay, that's very good. I will start braking when the locomotive gets onto the siding. Perfect. Now I can jump in. And what I can do... to do that to save some fuel I will have to service this locomotive and now the moment of truth 
Did we make it? First job. Second job. And third job. Guys. I think we did it. 29 minutes. Uh, let me go to the desk. Guys, we did it. We did it faster than we should. And we have a bonus. We got this with a bonus. Wow. Just look at this. We made it. Oops, uh, wrong button. Uh, there we go. Wow. We made over $120,000. Well, that's a nice payout, isn't it? Wow. Uh, let's check our fees. Oh my goodness me. Did you see that? 16, almost $17,000. That's how it's gonna that's how much it's gonna cost me to service my locomotive. Wow. That's a lot of money. But we succeeded. This is a massive success. So that was DE6. Uh guys, let me know what you think about this video. Would you like to see some more? perhaps uh, that's that's very interesting question uh, I'm I'm super interested to to hear from you so uh, leave your comments down below if you would like to see more jobs being done using the e6 it is definitely a very potent locomotive as you could see uh, we managed to pull out so much cargo that it's unbelievable uh, it's not that hard to do it and obviously uh, with the power of this locomotive, we can achieve even more. So, guys, yeah, l leave those comments down below. Uh, that's that's definitely building some activity on my channel as well. So, even commenting on my videos is helping. Uh, obviously, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, that is definitely contributing really great to, uh, towards my uh, channel growth. And the bigger the channel is, uh, the better content I will be eventually able to do. Uh, mostly because right now I'm sharing the time that I can uh, contribute towards the channel that is basically not helping me uh, pay my bills uh, between my channel and my actual work. Uh, so the content might suffer, but by subscribing, by adding those numbers to the subscrib uh, subscriptions, uh, you are definitely helping me to build this channel larger and eventually make a full switch at one point towards uh, contributing all my time towards uh, building up this channel. Uh, so yeah, uh, press that subscribe button. And finally, if you don't want to miss any of my content, well... After you subscribe, there is a bell button. Use it and set it for all notifications and you will never miss anything that I will upload. And finally, well, don't forget to jump in on my Discord server. Uh, link is in the description down below. You can have a chat about d Valley, about mods or many other games that I play uh, or games that you play and you would like to recommend. You can do that on my Discord as well. Right. Have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Latour, out.